Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to Relationship Talk with Sharonda. Hi, hi, hi. I am Sharonda and I am your host. Before we get started, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. This video is not going to be a very long video, but this video is going to be one to introduce you to a new term called soft swinging. Yes, I talk about all different types of relationship dynamics. And one term that I ran across just doing my research like I would normally do was the term soft swinging. And it's like, what exactly is soft swinging, right? So soft swinging, and let me give you the definition of it, is, um, is a couple engaging in sexual activity with a partner in the same room as another couple, but not swapping or sharing partners. That is soft swinging. And it really made me think, right? Because I have heard so many stories about people getting a room for the Bayou Classic. I'm going to use that because that's just one of the, the, the bigger uh, events that we have here. And the rooms are very expensive in New Orleans. And most times people pool together and get rooms, right? You in the room. The room have a double bed. You might be in one bed doing your thing. Somebody else is in another bed doing their thing. Everybody know what's going on in the room, right? But y'all not actually swapping partners. That is considered soft swinging, right? Another example of soft swinging would be, because I had a few different examples. Oh, you and your significant other visit a swingers club or a sex party, and you all are intimate in front of a group of people, and it's a group of strangers basically doing what they do, but y'all are all in the room being intimate with one another, but nobody's actually swapping partners. That is soft swinging. And you say, well, why would people want to soft swing? Well, let's talk about it. Um, sometimes you have people that have been in long-term relationships and they are looking for excitement, but they don't necessarily want to bring another person into their bedroom, right? They want to frequent a swingers club because they enjoy the environment. They enjoy, they might decide to go to a, um, a play party. They enjoy the environment, but they have no intention on being with other people that are there. They only want to deal with one another, only want to deal with their partner, but they want to be able to get in the mix with everything that's going on, but not want to swap partners, right? That is soft swinging. Another reason why people would do soft swinging because there would be a couple that wanted to do it for excitement, right? Another way, uh, another reason that people would do what's called soft swinging is suppose you have somebody that's in lifestyle and they've been in lifestyle for a while. And they met someone and the person is open-minded and they're trying to introduce that person to lifestyle, right? Well, they will basically put them in a room where they engage in with other people just to start getting them comfortable with being on the scene with other people before they actually get to the point where this couple is ready to start swapping partners. So that was just a term that I seen and I was like, you know what? I don't think the whole time that I have been teaching that I have ever came across the term soft swinging. But the thing is, I have seen soft swinging over and over and over again. But sometimes people do things that they don't necessarily know what to call it or they don't have a term for it. So if you have ever been in a room and you have been intimate with your partner and so another couple was in that same room being intimate and y'all had no intention on swapping with each other, y'all participated in soft swinging just in case you didn't know it, right? All right, so let's get off into our products. I'm going to be talking about products for men because Father's Day is around the corner. And guess what? If we're going to be sucking on baby daddy dicks, we need to make sure them dicks is working. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the cock ring. Cock ring slows up the blood circulation so that your partner can maintain their erection for a long period of time. Now, I always recommend cock rings when I have people who have blood pressure problems, diabetes, cholesterol. They're already taking a lot of medicines already. Sometimes the last thing they want to do is take another pill like an enhancer because they already taken medicine, right? So I would recommend them actually try the cock ring. It slows up the blood circulation and allows them to maintain the erection for a longer period of time, right? And then we have the pills, the Rhino. This one here is the 17. This one stays in your system seven days. And then we have the Rhino 24K, which stays in your system 10 days. Now, for a minute, I couldn't get a hold of Rhino because um, a lot of these manufacturers during COVID, they got off into producing the vaccination and all types of other medical stuff. And they didn't put a lot of emphasis on the enhancers anymore because they got licensed to be able to do all types of stuff for COVID, right? But our people finally got back to it and we able to get product again. 
So I do have the Rhino uh, 24K, which stays in your system 10 days. And I do have the Rhino 17, which stays in your system seven days. They are both on the website. And then we have the Royal Honey, which has been the best seller. Um, I want to say maybe this last two years, the, the, um, the Royal Honey. I don't know if I called the Rhino just now, but anyway, the Royal Honey has been the best seller for the last two years. Um, these honey packs, you just take them and pop them, squirt the honey in your mouth, or you could take the honey and put it in a drink, and it's going to get that blood circulating the way it needs to circulate. Because guess what? The last thing you want to do is show up to a lifestyle party, kink party, swing party, whatever you want to call it, and you have the issue of erectile dysfunction. That is very, very embarrassing. Uh, sometimes people are at these parties and they're nervous because they're not used to performing in front of people. Uh, sometimes they want them people, once they catch them one, they can't get it back up again. And what all of these do is interrupt what's called the refractory period. The refractory period is that time frame from when you actually come and then before you can get it back up again. Some people, once they come, they can't get it up for two days, right? But then you have some people that can get it right back up in five minutes. You want to, if you had a lifestyle party, you want to be one of the people that can at least get it back up within five minutes to 30 minutes, okay? And with that being said, this is what you want to invest in, right? When you go to the party, you need to already be the ticket stuff so that it's already in your system and it's ready to start working. Now, of course, this honey stays in your system three days. This one, 10 days. This one, seven days. Uh, this cock ring... You can use this one over and over and over again. So when you use it one time, you do not have to throw it away. I just wanted to introduce a new term to you all called soft swinging. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe.